Hi again, guys. So I decided that I wasn't going to go right to bed. Um, I got busy with a few projects, and I also thought that I would try to hang up my um, mandala um, blanket, my throw, on like my pantry door <laughs> to try to make a backdrop a la Sabina. I'm emulating you. I'm not copying you. No, I'm inspired by you. But it's off kilter, and look, now I've got a halo. Um, and like, it's crooked. This, this is kind of a test run here. And I still don't quite know how the ring light stand um, setup should work as far as like proximity for light and whether it should be bright or dim. Um, to me, nothing looks flattering or good. Whoops. The lower the better. But it's just an idea. For now, I guess that one's pretty good. This is like a testing one, two, three. That's too bright. That's good. I don't know. It's like a it's like a candlelight chit chat. So there's nothing else to say. I was just watching some of um Think Pink's Think Pink 29's live stream and um Jet Austin and oh my god, there's so many um channels right now, YouTubers that are weighing in on, on Amberlynn Reed and it's like it's 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 droll and amusing but it's also a little disturbing in a way because Amberlynn it's like it's not a fair fight. I hate to sound cocky, but it's not a fair fight. Like she she's not winning. Whoops. And she thinks she is and so, you know, you can't really argue with a stupid person. It, you can't. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. That's why I like Michael B. Petty so much. People think he's harsh, but it's like he's just so whip smart that it's like, just give it up right from the get go. You're not going to win. Um, Zachary also is incredibly smart, in my opinion, but he's so, he's so effervescent and silly, and his laugh is like so infectious that he's just, you know, he is like a, a, banana split Sunday of a person to indulge in, in my opinion. My cats are running around like crazy. Um, whoops. If anybody's watching this that would like to give me some advice about growing my channel, how to get organized with content, how to be a little bit more polished, how to use the tripod or the, the ring light or set up a background or I don't know. It's a little frustrating to be trying to like do something here, but I'm not really even sure what I'm trying to do. I would like to, you know, I'm still putting off like the deeper stuff that I, I promised you guys I would talk about, like being raised in the cult. And um, I already talked about like my dad dying and stuff. I don't want to keep rehashing really morbid topics, but um, my recovery story, rehab, like, it's a story that's obviously unique to me because it's my life and my story, but it's it's also not um, uncommon. It's kind of been done to death, but I have started the manuscript for my, for my memoir, by the way. The tentative title is going to be The Work, The World, and Me in Between because the name of the cult was The Work, and the idea of the world was evil and foreign and bad and, like, us versus them, you know, the saved versus the enemy. Um, and then me in between was just the fact that it was never my choice. You know, I didn't choose it. I didn't join the cult. I was raised in it. So it was always me in between trying to be in the world and be a normal kid growing up and being in the work, which was my mother's misguided vision, but it was never mine. So um, if you're new to my channel, um, be aware that this summer there's going to be a documentary aired put out by People Magazine Investigates and it's going to be shown on the ID Discovery channel on your local cable network if you get that channel. It's kind of obscure, which I'm thankful for in a way. But um, I'm one of three people that's going to be featured. I still can't believe I did it. I really can't. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I put my trust in the hands of the professionals filming and editing and everything. But um, 
they interviewed me for like a full day. It was like eight hours worth of interview. So I'm going to actually be on TV and uh, I'll let you guys know when it's going to air so you can actually hear me talking about my experiences in the cult, what it was like to be a child and have my identity stripped away and 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 how that affected and impacted my life and how it's not really something you just get over because there's a lot of misguided people who say things like well get over it don't continue to be a victim it, it, it's over now no one can hurt you anymore it's in the past but um it affected my ability to be in this world um to feel like a contributing member of society and like a a fully integrated intact person with my personality and identity and um if you want to go on youtube and check out what the cult was about and what the cult leader was about um there is one that was made in i think 1992 or 93 called who is brother julius you can check that out and then you can see what i was raised in the climate the environment how strange it was to to live that way and then, of course, when my dad died when I was 13, he was never in the cult, but my mother was. Um, that really, that led to a lot of, like, dissociation on my part and and really feeling like I was kind of thrown to the wolves and, you know, raising myself. Um, I wrote an essay about it recently, which is going to be like the foreword to my memoir. But it's it's on my phone in my notebook section, my notes section. And I can't access that by filming on my phone right now until I start doing this on my laptop, which hopefully is going to be up and running soon with the help of my friend who's, you know, a little more savvy with technology than I am. Um, and then I can kind of interface everything and, you know, read things from my phone while I'm talking to you guys or, whoops, I can learn to edit and stuff. That, that's my main goal right now is learning how to edit because I'd like to have an intro My smoke keeps going out. It's a smoking channel. I didn't have that many today. Um, so anyway, I took a melatonin. I'm getting sleepy. I'm getting a little loopy and dopey, but this is like a test run to see how things look with a backdrop instead of just me, you know, running around holding up my camera. Um, I've got my tripod set up on my kitchen table. Behind me is like my pantry. Um, I'm in my kitchen, my bedroom's over there, sink's over there, living room, porch, bathroom, and that's all she wrote. That's my whole house. So this is really rambly. I feel kind of foolish right now, but just a little bit more chit chat. Okay, so talk to you guys later. Whoops. You know it wouldn't be a complete video unless I switched up the lighting. Which one is the best? I think maybe I forgot. You're not supposed to look in the viewfinder. You're supposed to look at the camera. I'm not vain. I'm actually quite insecure about how I look. But anyway, I've got my requisite candle. And it was nice talking to you guys. Enjoy your evening and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace out.